I am here with Kristen Catherwood in Edmonton at the AMA Annual Conference. The date is September 22nd, 2013, and this is Lisa Wilson speaking. Um, I would like to start off by asking you a little bit about yourself. Where are you from and what was it like to grow up in this place? I'm from a farm near Ceylon, Saskatchewan, which is in the southern part of the province, about 110 kilometers south of Regina. Um, and as I said, it was a farm. So growing up was a lot of time spent outdoors, um, a lot of time playing and making up our own fun. Um, it was growing up amongst the farm machinery, obviously at a safe distance, a distance but um, seeing my father farming, our life was governed by the farming year, which of course is very seasonal. So I grew up with a great awareness of the seasons. And these are things I think I might not have realized were part of my upbringing until I did move to the city and as a, as a child, uh, about the age of 10. So I lived in the city for many years. Um, and so I realized that the way I grew up on the farm was different from the way that my friends in the city grew up. And so I, and as I got older, began to be interested in things like history and folklore and that sort of thing. I started to realize how my life growing up on the farm was governed by things like the seasons and the occupation of my father and the rural environment that I lived in, including, you know, the length of time it took to get places and um, that sort of thing. Um, so what are you studying now and um, how is that connected to your upbringing? I'm studying folklore uh, at the Memorial University of Newfoundland, which is obviously very far from where I grew up. Um, but I find connections all the time. And I realized as soon as I didn't know what folklore was, really. Well, I just kind of showed up in Newfoundland. And I didn't want to leave home. I'm very attached to my home. And I just thought, if I don't like this, I'm leaving in a month and I'm going back home. And I realized within the first probably few hours that this is exactly what I was meant to do because I've basically been doing it in some ways my whole life um, under sort of the guidance of my father, which was just being really aware of my local area and knowing it really well, the land, um, the features of it, the townscape. The, when we grew up, my dad would talk about, oh, this homestead used to be here, and it was this family. The, fi the names of our fields, when we refer to fields, it's, oh, that's browns. We're doing Durham on browns, and we just finished combining wheat at Guilfoyles. And those Guilfoyles and browns, which are real names of fields, are named after the, the farmers who used to own them. And that sort of local knowledge is something I've always really loved and found so fascinating and almost slightly mysterious, like it's a sort of secret thing that only my family knows about and that's the kind of stuff I grew up with and once I got into folklore I realized that that is folklore that that's local knowledge local traditions and so that's the kind of thing that I um, I really am, am I love about folklore mm -hmm. and that I'm really happy I grew up in that kind of environment and I think everyone does grow up in an environment of folklore